the ape stood and became man. I'm glad this is a comedy. We're talking comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She was married to Kaminsky. I was Melvin Kaminsky. Can't make a living. Mel Brooks. Absolument. Melvin Kaminsky aime à rappeler qu'il est né en 1926 avec les films sonorisés. C'était aussi l'époque du krach boursier de 1929 et la famille Kaminsky, venue d'Ukraine, vécut pauvrement. Oh, I miss Russia. Worked in the garment center. They were either stitching or they were salesmen or they were, in, like me, kid, shipping in the shipping department, you know. Downtown Brooklyn, where darkness never falls, for the lights of Brooklyn never go out. Brooklyn, the city of progress and achievement, a proud city and a proud people. One night, it is 1935, it's the opening of Cole Porter's Anything Goes. Uncle Joe has two seats in the second balcony because he, he's a cab driver. He used to take the doormen from the theaters who lived in Brooklyn. He used to take them home. They'd give them tickets. Mais il fallait vite revenir au rire. Celui de Mel Brooks venant plutôt des comiques destructeurs comme les Trois Stooges ou les Frères Ritz, plutôt que du comique sentimental et critique de Chaplin ou de la poésie géométrique de Buster Keaton. Silent Movie fut tourné en hommage au slapstick des origines. Mel Brooks y retrouva Sid César, son boss du show of show. La légende dit que les crises de fou rire sur le plateau furent si nombreuses qu'ils crurent ne jamais pouvoir terminer le film. Dans Chienne de vie, cherchant à marcher sur les traces de Frank Capra et de Preston Sturgis, Mel Brooks s'essaya à une note plus grave, avec cette histoire de promoteur immobilier qui, à la suite d'un pari, va vivre les difficultés des sans-abri. Son personnage y rencontrera l'amour, avec Leslie Ann Warren. I have a little surprise. Follow me. What is this? Well, we would never presume to question your genius for financial wizardry, sir. But why? <laughs> Wait. Gentlemen, the ultimate achievement of my life. Oh, I'm working on... Ta-da! Young Frankenstein as a musical. Yeah, he usually comes over every evening when he's in town, and he's in town forever. He was away for two weeks, and it was hard to have dinner and watch television. He sits right there. While we eat, we only watch things that don't upset us, Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. Then glorious, simple, like omelette bavaise. Je parle français assez pour survivre. 